Good morning, guys, and it is a good morning. Um, I just got out of church and I was driving around the valley trying to find uh, some of the bigger bucks that I know are living down here low. I haven't seen them for a long time, but I found them today. And to my surprise, the big one has actually shed an antler. Let me zoom up on him so you guys can see him. Um, this is a very typical place where they like to chill. Um, there's, as you can see, there's the big buck with one four point side. Um, I'm pretty sure he's a five by four this year, which means that a five point shed is laying around here somewhere. And behind him is a four by four. Um, I know him from last year too. He had a pair of like wider antlers and this year they're nice chocolate brown. But anyways, I'm going to leave them there for a minute and I'm gonna go look for the other side in an area where I know that this buck likes to frequent. Um, I lucked out this year, I really did, because these guys have people watching them from February until they drop all the time. It's the 19th of January, 2013. Um, they dropped early this year, which means that I probably have a nice shed waiting around here for me somewhere. So. I'm like trying to like control my breathing right now. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go see if I can pick up his shed and I'll probably just sit here and watch him for the rest of the day and see if he drops his antler. All right guys. Um, well, I am the first person to be back here this year. This is some dude's property that I've met a few times. Um, this is where all the deer hang out. I just walked through this kind of hollow area. And you can see there's bedding areas all over in here. There's fresh poo, there's a trail. Um, this is where those deer are most of the time. And I've looked back through here, I haven't found a shed. There's a few other properties around here that I need to check out before I can say that I have no idea where he shed. But um, as of right now, this is where I was hoping it would be. But it's not here, so. Um, I'll keep looking, just keep watching. Should be a pretty exciting day regardless, so. Well, as you can see, we live in a pretty urban deer environment. Um, that is not really an uncommon sight to see at all. I just looked in every area that I know where to look to maybe find this buck. Um, no luck unfortunately but the one spot I haven't checked is probably where it's laying right now and that's underneath him um, he's kind of laying down in that hole I can't see where he's laying down very well I can't see the ground so the shed could be like right underneath him unfortunately I won't know until he gets up and walks away from it because I'm not going to scare him out of there but I've got him in an area where only I can see him right now and I don't want a bunch of other people to be walking in and where the heck did they go? Um, I can't see him. I'm going to go look for his antler right now. What the heck? Where are they? Give me a minute guys. I'll get back. Well, those deer aren't where I left them. Um, less than 20 minutes ago. I don't know where he is. I just went and looked kind of where he was laying down for that other shed. It's not there. I have no idea where else this deer could have shed. And I know that those areas where I looked, I was the only person who had been back there. So the, he didn't shed in that area. I'm going to go look around for those deer and see if maybe their current location could maybe help me figure out where he shed. So stay tuned. Between Taylor and I, we uh, both live in this area and we've tracked these uh, deer's hab habits pretty good. Um, I forgot about this field up here. I thought it was developed already and it's not. So I'm gonna look around here quick. Um, this is where they like to frequent a little bit, as you can see. I mean, that's a lot of tracks for this area. There's a bed in there, some poo right there. I mean, this could be a good a place as any. I haven't seen those big bucks yet this year until today, so I have no idea where they've been. Um, 
Uh, I'm serious, I'm hoping. This is like one of the last few areas that's not somebody's backyard that I know where to look for that shed. So I'm hoping I, fi I find it before um, a lot of people figure out that that buck has shed. Because literally, as soon as somebody finds out, they'll be doing what I'm doing. And the less people that know about it, the better for me. I lucked out this year and driving by and finding him probably within a few hours of him shedding, like within the last 24 hours. So, anyways, this is gonna be one of my last areas to look before I have given up on trying to find this silly shed. So, stay tuned, keep watching. Well guys, I just made it back home. No antler, I couldn't find it. I couldn't even actually find those deer again. I looked everywhere that I knew where to look. I drove around for like two hours, but I never ended up catching up to him again. I'm hoping the one area that I didn't look um, was that hollow area, the first area that I went and looked for the shed. I'm hoping that the deer jumped the street, went down into that hollow, and that's where they're gonna be for a while. Um, just in the case that they were there, I didn't want to walk in there to see if they were there and scare him out because he may shed his other side here pretty quickly. So if that's where he is, I want him to shed right where nobody can see him except for the gentleman that owns that property and he's not that big into shed hunting. So um, he's not going to be like actively looking out his back window for that buck to drop. So anyways, that's kind of my... Um, plan as of right now. I'm going to go for a shed hunt tomorrow. Um, it's Martin Luther King Day, so I don't have classes. I'll just uh, throw that little bit of a video in with today, and hopefully I can get you guys an antler or something in this next video. So anyways, just keep watching. Good morning, guys. Today is Martin Luther King Day. Um, I'm up shed hunting while I don't have classes, so um, right now I'm in the area where I saw pitchfork the deer that I named uh, that I saw in here like last Wednesday I think it was yeah yeah I saw him in here last Wednesday um, there's a little blood around the base of his antlers I'm hoping to maybe see him today and if he's got um, one side or no sides then there should be some sheds in there for me but I'm up here with like everybody and their dog literally there's like 17 dogs running around in here right now and I'm pissed but what can you do so Hope we pick up some sheds today. Stay tuned. Guys, you are not going to believe what I just found. A matching set. You can see it snowed a little bit last night. But there's a point and a burr sticking up right there. And then over there, you can see three. Holy crap, wait a second. Guys, this might be pitchfork. <laughs> This might be Pitchfork. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this thing. If this is Pitchfork, then this has to be a three-point. Oh my gosh, guys. It's Pitchfork. No doubt. Let me zoom out. Seriously, guys, I'm so stoked right now. Look at this. Look at the junk down here. And look at that eye guard. Oh, my gosh. Just look at the mass all the way through his time. It's ridiculous. Oh. Hold on. my gosh oh holy crap look at that there's blood on there eye guard faces forward thick all the way through flattens out look at that holy crap you almost had some kickers there woohoo yes oh. oh my gosh I'm so stoked right now
Oh yeah. That's pitchfork. No doubt about it. I just saw this deer like last Wednesday. There he is, folks. So stoked. Yes! Oh, sheds number one and two for the year, guys. Hoping to get about 48 more of those. Keep watching. Oh my gosh, there's the big five by four. He was just fighting with a three point. Oh man, he is a big buck. There's a little spiker. And the three point is on the other side of that tree there. But wow. That's what I got to look forward to this year. Oh, look at this. Looks like a big three or something. What is he? Yeah, he's a three. Oh, he's a three by four. Sorry, I'm sucking at driving and videoing. And then there's the three. They're all holding still. These valley bucks drop later. Well, guys, thanks for watching today. Um, I just got out of the canyon from, just found a uh, fork shots today. So it's a good day, good Martin Luther King day here. Um, I'm gonna walk back here where um, I was yesterday and see if maybe that four point has uh, dropped his other side quick. So anyways, this is the end of the video unless I pick up his shed in here. So thanks for watching and sticking it out with me through the boring days. So keep watching, should have some more videos up pretty soon.